it's Cliff here on the Rapid Turn. We're up to about episode seven now, um, and um, unfortunately, this uh, episode, this part, is um, about an error issue that I have with my Rapid Turn, an error issue uh, in the spindle where the five C collet fits in. Um, I hope it's only with my uh, Rapid Turn that there's this problem. Please watch this video and do some checks if you have a rapid turn and see whether you have the same problem. Um, okay, I'll get on with it. Darn it, I've just found a fault with my rapid turn. Ah, I've been looking at it at length last night and I've just got up this morning to double check it all through. I've got a problem with my spindle bore. The hole in the spindle is too big. Um, a 5C spindle bore should be a close fit on a 5C collet in this area. It should be, um, the 5C collet is inch and a quarter OD and the spindle bore should be a close fit on that in this zone here. Uh, so there should be a, a clearance here in this section and then a close fit on the 5C collet of inch and a quarter or 31.75 um, in this area. But on my spindle bore, it's just ground straight through clearance at 32.03. Uh, so that's 0.3 of a millimeter nearly, nearly 11 or 12 thou clearance on the collet. Which is really bad news. You remember when in a recent video when I was testing it for rigidity and at one part when I was parting I thought I saw the part move and then I did some testing with a crowbar. Well I've only now just identified what the problem is. I've been so busy concentrating on my build but the collet should be located internally on that diameter and, and with this setup, this clearance in the spindle bore and it's not located and even if I push the 5C collet in you can see it's rattling around in there so <laughs> that's a tragedy um, you see a, a 5C collet see if I can show it a bit more clearly here's a, an example of a 5C collet bore one of these collet um, blocks and it's a close fit on this diameter at the other end. So it's clearance through here because it's picking up on the taper and then it's a close fit down there. So okay so let me run that same axial play test with a spindle bore mock-up that's of the correct um, clearance on the diameter of the 5C. You can see if I hold it in there I've only got a hundredth of a millimetre clearance whereas in my uh, rapid turn it's rattling round nearly 0.3 of a millimetre clearance. So this is really serious. Um, I'll have to contact Tormac and find out whether this is uh, a factory error. I imagine it must be. Although it's hard to see how it can be a factory error because if you look inside um, a normal 5C collet bore there's clearance in the central portion. If you look on a sketch there's clearance here and a close fit at the end. There's clearance in this example, there's clearance in my little um, debit grinder 5C collet spindle bore, the same thing and a very close fit in this area here. But if you look at rapid turns bore, oh the light's probably not good there. Yeah you can see it there. It's just a beautifully ground straight through bore. There's no clearance. Well there is clearance. The clearance is the whole way. There's not just clearance at the front. There's clearance the whole way. And how could that have happened by mistake? 
it looks like a specification or a communication error. There's 0.3 clearance the whole way through and there's no location at the end here. Uh, this is really weird. Um, I'd be worried that there's more than one of these that's been built like this, in which case it's a, a disaster for Tormac as well as people have already bought one because the only way you can fix this is to replace the spindle or the whole headstock. Here's another example of a 5C spindle bore. Let's look down inside it. You can see there's the ground 10 degree angle at the front and then down, then there's clearance and then there's the close fit on the collet, a ground diameter further down there. Okay, let's make some measurements. So if we measure a 5C collet diameter in that zone, we get 31.73. And if we measure the bore of that collet spindle, or an example of one, we get 31.755. So that's two and a half hundredths clearance, that's one thou clearance. So now let's measure the rapid turn bore. Okay, well I've already measured the spindle bore yesterday, um, but I'm just doing it again now just so I can show you really graphically what the problem is. Just put a telescopic gauge in there. Swing it off centre very gently. Can you see this okay? So we're measuring the bore of the okay, it's about 32.02, um, probably very slightly within half a hundredth. I think I got 32.03 yesterday, but 32.02. Um, and the collet OD is just about 31.73, so that's 0.29 clearance. Uh, so that's uh, 11 and a half thou, 11 thou clearance. Um, just to show that by measurement. Okay, well I'll contact Tormac now to see if they're aware with the prob of, aware of the problem. Um, and see whether it's unique to my rapid turn or whether it's a whole batch um, a specification error um, so um, yeah please check your rapid turn if you have one to see if you have that uh, parallel bore that's clearance all the way through so that you don't you, you are, you're not able to get the alignment of the 5c collet accurately um, Hopefully it's just unique to this particular um, model that I have. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've checked my uh, chuck adapter, which is a 5C Arbor, and it's the same as the collet specs. So the error is not in the uh, chuck adapter. Um, it's in the bore of the um, rapid turn. So um, I might be able to uh, shrink a little sleeve onto my Arbor. Uh, so that I can carry on with the development um, and that will get me going in the meantime um, but that's not a viable long-term solution because all the collets would need to have sleeves on them and it's no longer a universal interchangeable system um, if the error is in the bore there's no quick fix other than to replace the bore as far as I can see thank you well it sounded a bit grim didn't I <laughs> Um, well, life's like that, isn't it? Nothing always goes smoothly. Um, this is the uh, f the uh, chuck uh, arbor or a a adapter with a 5C shank. And um, it's got the same problem with the 0.3 clearance. So I um, machined up a very thin wall sleeve and a little zone on the end of the shank and shrunk it on 
Boy, that was tricky work. The centers were burred over and I had to lap those and get it running true before I could do that. So it took me a couple of hours. But okay, I've got a close fit now on the arbor inside the spindle bore and I can carry on with my um, development. At least use the chuck. I just can't use my collets. I know I seem to be going over and over this, but this is a very critical issue and I want to cover it properly. Here's another example of a 5C collet spindle. And if we look down inside, again you can see that there's a clearance zone and a precision diameter location zone. And if I measure that, again it's a close fit on the collet diameter. Well, a very small amount of clearance, a location precision location fit. Some of you might be thinking, well you've got a precision fit on the taper anyway, um, so does it really matter? When it's pulled up tight, it's pulled up tight on the taper, so there's your alignment, what's the problem? Well the reason why they have a fit on this diameter is to override the bias from the draw tube um, tightening loads. The, the thread on the 5C collet or arbor is not a precision thread and the thread inside the draw tube is not a precision thread and the thrust face is, is not likely to be highly concentric. All of these parts are just uh, clearance fits and when you tighten it all up the draw tube will try and pull, I'd exaggerate it here, will try and pull it out of a line because of the errors in the threads, um, because they're not ground threads, unlike the collar. So when you tighten it up, it'll try and bias it. Uh, but if it's an accurate fit down this end, then it can't bias it. And I discovered that, this is what got me on to finding the problem in the first place, was when I tightened it up, the whole uh, chuck arbor flange started running out, because the draw tube was able to bias the whole arbor off on an angle because of the errors in the thread and so on and 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 so um, that's that's a reason why you must have that accurate diameter fit there the other reason is was probably more than two reasons is that if you're only locating over that little narrow land and you're doing a heavy machining cut you're right out here machining out here if you've got a chuck there and the load is likely um, sorry stop for a sec let me carry on. I got interrupted by my good lady hosing down her car. I don't know. Some people just don't understand the importance of these things. Okay, so if, if you're just aligning over that rather narrow land there, and you've got the chuck out here with a big cut on, um, that's a huge amount of leverage. That's five or six inches of leverage, and the load of a heavy cut you might be parting off is a massive load. Um, it's liable to rock on that land and um, pivot on it so the whole thing could let go and cause the cut to dig in and so it's not only an accuracy issue but it's also a rigidity issue and a safety issue if it digs in and grabs the tool um, and, and really throws the part out of the chuck you've got a major safety situation there as well so there's, there's lots of good reasons for that accurate fit um, of the arbor so I'm hoping it's just this unit that's faulty, um, but um, we'll see in the course of time whether there are other, other rapid turns with the same problem. I don't think anyone would try and make the claim that this is just a low cost uh, product that is not designed to do accurate work. Um, the test certificate shows that it's extremely accurate, 10 times more accurate than it needs to be on many of the measurements. and. Um, the, cyl the cylindrical grinding of the spindle looks beautifully done to within microns of accuracy um, and so I don't think that claim could be made I mean for example this 5C collet set which is a really low cost set it's a 56 US dollars and um, it is extremely accurate the, the fit of the 5C collet at that end is uh, very close so um, I don't think that claim can be made. If you want to do a bit of research on the subject, 
of uh, the correct specs for collet spindles. The Hardinge Group are highly respected machine tool builders. I'm sure most of you are aware in Elmira in New York and um, their mission statement is uh, best in class. So if you uh, look um, online for example you can find Practical Machinist have posted um, one of Hardinge Brothers original blueprints of a spindle and here you can see the bore has clearly got the clearance diameter of 1 and 9 30 second and the back bearing diameter here of 1.2500 and up to plus 0002 so that's two tenths of a thou clearance maximum so that's very closely controlled tiny amount of clearance there from Hardinge Brothers. I'd say they'd be an authority on the matter. Okay, well that wraps up episode 7, um, solely dedicated to the subject of uh, my uh, spindle issue. Um, thanks for watching, hopefully uh, episode 8 will be a little bit more constructive and positive. Cheers. Okay, stop press, a little uh, clip to put in at the end of that video um, to update you on the situation. So I have contacted Tomac um, and explained the situation and I've heard back from them. Um, now I'm not an expert on legal matters and also I'm concerned about the ethics here. Um, I'm not sure where the boundaries are so I'm going to err on the side of caution and um, not go into any details or quote any names or so on. So I'll, I'll just say this, I've contacted Tormac, I've made him aware of the situation and, um, and their initial response is encouraging. So that's great news. So if, you, if this affects you personally, uh, for whatever reason, I suggest that you contact Tormac rather than um, speak to me about it. All right, cheers.